let's open our Visual Studio. Okay, now let's select create a new project. And for the language, let's select Visual Basic. And select Windows Forms Application. Next, in project name, for example, Radio Button Demo. Okay, and also make sure that you know where you store your files or your project and select Create. Okay, so let's rename the form into FRM, let's say radio demo, radio button demo, and the text, um, let's name it again to radio button demo. Okay. And let me change the background into oh, the back color into to button highlight. Now we're going to make use of different controls such as text boxes, um, labels, and of course radio button. Okay, so let's say label. And let's name this into LBL title and text um, radio button demo. Okay. Let's change the font size into like 20. Oops, just delete this. And um, another label and let's name this as LBL price oops LBL price and let's change the text into <laughs> into uh, let's say original price and let's make use of a text box okay and let's name this as txt txt price <clears throat> let's change the font size into let's make it larger like 12 Okay. And what else do we need? Um, we need radio buttons, of course. So, what's a radio button? Later on, we will discuss the use of a radio button. We need three radio buttons. Okay, so let's name this as... RDB, that's the Hungarian notation for radio button. This is RDB20. And RDB30. Okay. So let's make this larger. Font size 12. And let's change this to text 10%, 20%, and 30%. And let's put it in a group box. Okay, so let's find a container, let's say a group box. So that they will be grouped together and we can also change its back color supposing we change it into something pastel like 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 
Um, nope, 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 nope. Like lemon. Okay, and ch change this into the, the the name or the label. Let's change this into um percent discount. Font size twelve. Let's resize it so that um, it looks balanced. See if it's in a group box, we can drag them all together. Okay, and also let's copy this label and text box and change this into um, label discount. And this is txt discount okay and lastly we have the discount that price just copy and paste let's label this as lbl discounted price and change the text also into discounted price Okay, and the text box into txt discounted price. And um, let's change the text into discount. Okay. So what we do next is that we have to discuss the use of of a radio button. Now according to this site, which is tutorials point, in Visual Basic is a radio button is a control used to provide a set of mutually exclusive options. So the user can select one radio button in a group. Okay, so if you need to place more than one group of radio buttons in the same form, you should place them in a different container, like a group box. Okay, so it is said that a radio in a radio button or in a group of a radio button, you can only select one. Okay, you cannot select 10%, the same time 20%, or 30%. So you could only choose either 10 or 20 or 30. So what we're trying to do here is that we're trying to find out the discount price if the given is the original price. And how much will be the discounted price if we select any of the disc discount percentage here in this script box? Okay, so first we should set this text box as disabled because we only need to input data inside this text box, which is the original price. Automatically, it will compute the discount and the discounted price given the original price. Okay, so let's double click the form and make sure you are in the form radio button demo load. So you are inside the form load every time this form will be loaded. Automatically, these text boxes will be set to disabled. So you have to know what the names of the text boxes are. For this text box, this is named as txt disk, and this text box is named txt disk price. So again, go back to form load and set txt disk that enabled is equal to false txt disk price that enabled equals false okay so let me first disable my um antivirus because it blocks the application okay um disable for for an hour okay stop run the program 
Okay, so as you can see, these text boxes are disabled, meaning you cannot click it or you cannot type anything in it. You can only type in this text box because this text box is enabled while these two text boxes are disabled. Okay. okay, so that is the function of disabling these text boxes, setting it into false. Okay, so let's go to the radio button. Okay, so make sure you are inside that private sub and the name of the radio button. So currently we are at RDB10. Okay, so it says RDB10 underscore check change. So meaning if you click this radio button, what happens? So let's say if rdb10.checked is equal to true, okay, then what will happen? Okay, so if this is true, so it's going to compute for the discount, okay, which is 10%. So let's say is going to output in this text box the result when we discount the original price from its percent discount. Okay, so let's say txt disk point text, okay, which refers to this text box that's equal to the value of txt price point text times 10% or that's um, 0.1 or 0.10 or they're still the same. Okay, let's check. We're supposing we input 12 here. Okay, and we select 10%. Okay, so that means that if the original price is 12, then if we discount it with 10%, from 12%, the discount is 1.20. Okay, so how about the result in this discounted price? Now, we shall say um, txt disk price that text is equal to the value of text price that text which is the original price okay and subtract the discount okay so that's value txt disk text okay so let's try to run this again let's say if we have 12 or let's say we have 10 okay 10 percent of 10 is 1 and now the discounted price is 9 so you, if the original price is 10 you only have to pay 9 now we are talking about currency so let's try to format it into currency using the function format currency okay so what is format currency okay so format currency returns an expression formatted as a currency value by using the currency symbol defined in the system control panel now if you defined the currency in your system as dollar sign then it will display a dollar sign if it's a basis sign then it will display a basis sign so how do we do that? Okay, by using the format currency function. So let's say format currency. Okay, and enclose them in a parentheses. Okay. Okay. And run. Okay, so let's say we have 10. Okay, so as you can see, it formats it into a currency. 
Now supposing if we set this into a floating point, which is a lot of decimal points. So let's say that's 12 point. Okay. So as you can see, the numbers here is of course set into many decimal places. So what we're trying to do here is we want it to only have two decimal places. So we should use the math function. Let's set this into math, which is the function that floor k okay, and let's enclose this in the parentheses. And let's say only two decimal places. Okay, let's check. Whoops. What error? Which error? Oh, this is math that round. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to round it into two decimal places using the math function. Okay, I'll say math that round. Okay, whatever the value is in here, and change the decimal places into only two. Okay. So let's say we have original price is uh, 10 point. Okay. okay, now it sets it into two decimal places. Okay, so now let's just copy all of it into the different radio buttons. Okay, for 20, of course, you set it into rdb20 oops okay and set this also into 2 and for 30 set this also into rdb 30 third C. Okay, and also this, set this into RDB30. And let's try to run it. Okay, supposing you have 10, okay, or 10%, that is, the discount is 1, and the discount price is 9, for 20, that's 2, and for 30, that's 3. However, if I change this into a different number, it does not automatically change okay so what we're going to do is that we're going to add these I mean we're going to also code all of these um, lines of codes which you have under the radio buttons inside the text box okay so anytime it changes the, the result also in these text boxes would change okay so let's copy just copy and select this text box to so make sure that's the name of the text box and this is text change not on click because we don't have any um, command buttons in there okay so just copy it and also for that's for 10 and for the 20 and for 30. Okay, let's check. Okay, so if the original price is, let's say, 12, then for 10%, for 20%, and for 30%. Now, if it changes into 10, then automatically it changes because we have also set codes here inside this text box that whenever there's a change in this text box automatically the result would also change okay so i hope you learned something from this example and see you in the next lesson thank you